Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, Coach. And take questions for Coach, please. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob is good. No setbacks. Uh, all positive reaction to his minutes. And uh, he can get in the 24 range like last game. Yeah, like I said, we played him a little less than he could have, but he will not start again. What have you seen that, like, what, like talking to guys? Obviously, you know, the difference he makes on the court, but like just the emotional aspect, like Jason has a huge smile every time he's like, oh, Rob's back. Like, this guy's knowing that he is there and kind of the mental impact of knowing that he's there. Yeah, I think it was great to have him back on the court just in general, even going through the walkthrough and uh, things he did before last game. And you know, everybody gave him a, a nice little cheer in the locker room after the win. Uh, just to have him back is, is obviously a big layer to what we do defensively. The other guys have done a great job in his absence, but just having him out there is another body. We can obviously, like I always talk about Al, shaving down those minutes and the elite rim protection and versatility he gives us is huge, but more so than anything, happy that he's back healthy and pain-free and able to increase those minutes and help us in what we're doing. Obviously, Jason gets a ton of pressure from the defense. What do you think that's allowed Jake to do in this series? Yeah, it frees him up for sure, as with the rest of the team. We've seen that quite a bit this year, and uh, one thing we've really emphasized is, you know, getting off the ball early and allows Jalen, who's a very aggressive scorer driver, to get downhill. And they're in heavy shift team, loading up on Jason. And uh, so we like to put Jason, Jalen in certain places on the court to attack. And that opens up that. But, uh, you know, in general, I think the thing that benefits us is we have two-way guys, you know, guys that guard on one end and all score on the other. So it's, it's tough to kind of key in on one guy without uh, letting everybody else get loose. And, uh, you've seen this, Jason's assist numbers in the series, eight, eight a game. He's making the right play and trusting his teammates, and everybody's kind of feeding off him. Everybody's saying the right things after the three. It was one more game and all that. But how do you how do you ensure that these guys come out to start this game and not be a little kind of caught up in the real lead and all that? I mean, the opponent, uh, the, guy, the guys that we've held down to some extent, understanding how – quick a series can flip and change and not trying to give them any hope or momentum and so continue to, to do what we've done well uh, we had another good film session today showing a lot of areas of improvement and so when they see that and see we held the team to 103 and and did well on their two scores but all the areas we can really improve on i think it's um, the last two games especially our starts haven't been the best so want to come out come out with a better start defensively, especially on those guys. A lot of free room, and you know, Irvin goes over seven, and five of those looks were pretty wide open. So uh, a lot of areas we can improve on and understanding that they can get going in the, at the drop of a dime, and we got to combat that early. And do you kind of approach coaching this game a little bit differently? You know, the beginning, like, are you just more on alert for, oh, we, we actually do look a little slow for the quicker timeouts? Yeah, I think we've that's been the last two games and honestly understanding how aggressive they're going to come out, you know, backs against the wall, um, you know, based on some comments they've made, expect them to be extra aggressive tonight, force the issue even more. And so we have to be alert for that. Um, you know, like I said, 7-0 and 9-0 in the last two games, not the best starts. And then we work our way back into it. If we can put the pressure on them and make it a little harder from the start, uh, that obviously bode well for us. You guys, when you came down here in February, beat them twice pretty badly. They didn't have the rant and Irving. And they said, okay, well, that's not the real next team. But did you learn anything about the way you could guard other guys or about their system from, you know, even not seeing their whole team to understanding the kind of stuff they do that you can put away for later on? I would say no, not in those two games. Without their guys, they guarded us extremely different. Uh, we, you know, get, went after Jason every time. Uh, and then how we guarded them, it was really about getting to Mills and, and some of those other guys in that game. So not much from those two games without their two guys playing. Uh, I'd say game four at home, a tight game late in the season. We, we got a good look at some things in that. I mean, you all have come into this game with a very clear approach to deal with Kevin Durant. Uh, your expectations defensively for what you can do and the reality of what you've done, how closely aligned are those two? I mean, to say we could, you know, he'd be struggling to this extent, uh, you know, I think it's a little bit of a fool's goal there. You know, we want to make it tough on them. We want to be aggressive and physical and show them bodies and different looks and keep them off balance. But, um, you know, 
to that extent, I'd say, you know, we wouldn't think it, you know, he'd miss some of the shots he's missing, but the wear down factor that I mentioned, uh, throwing multiple bodies on him and, and kind of wearing him down, being, you know, physical with him the whole game that, that wears on guys. And then when they do get open, look, at times they're a little antsy and they can rush those. And so I think it's a, a cumulative effect uh, with all of our guys, but also uh, putting them in actions on the other end and making them guard as well. So, like I said, we have two way guys and that's the benefit of our team. A lot of our defensive guys can score as well and they have to do it on both ends. Thank you. Thank you.